You think that's funny, huh? You think that's funny? Nathan? <laughs> He's laughing at me. Okay, so... Doesn't matter where you start at. It only matters where your heart's at. You got a chance for to take that. It's no time just to waste that. See, we only get one shot. Like we only get one life. And even when you get beat down, you come back like the sunrise. Everybody wanna tell you Everything you can't do They ain't never step foot in your shoes I'ma tell you Anything you want You can get it Chase your dreams Like you really can't lose All you gotta do is get it Shoot for the stars Don't give in All you gotta do is stay driven Focus on the mission Man, they just lack ambition But you, I can tell you got a vision So follow your dream Hey, what's up auspicious family welcome to another auspicious vlog so tonight I'm going to do a another night routine an updated version of the night routine um, a lot of things have changed and I feel like it needs to be updated so you guys can know exactly what's going on if this is your first time here consider subscribing and turn on post notifications um, we basically are a family uh, of two special need boys and I pretty much always document Nathan's journey and pretty much our family and the things that we deal with uh, all the time so uh, if, if this is something that interests you consider subscribing if not it's okay share this with someone that might be uh, that might find this helpful uh, but anyways if you, this is your first time here and you don't know too much about our story there's a video up in our main uh, page that pretty much tells you everything of what happened and how we're pretty much here um, but to summarize, my smallest and my youngest son, my smallest and my youngest son, he has a rare genetic disease called cutisoxa type 3, um, a mutation is called ALDH18A1, and it's related to DeBarzi syndrome. So anyways, um, this disease brings so many problems that um, it has caused me and my wife to abandon or forced us to leave our careers in order to continue to care for our son um, because although my oldest he's autistic and stuff um, raising him is already a battle but with Nathan it's like a completely different thing that demands a lot of care so this is the why am I talking about this is because uh, you need to understand why I have a night routine and why it is that I'm up uh, during the night uh, so I need you guys to understand that. So Nathan has, one of the symptoms of his disease is cyclic vomiting, severe reflux, and he has breathing spells. So with Nathan, we have to be really cautious with him and be alert at all times, um, because at any time he can have these, you know, these episodes and, you know, he cannot have a breathing spell while he's choking, while he's vomiting. It's just someone has to be here to aid him at all times um, so that is why I have a night routine so this is for whoever you know this is your first time watching and you don't know our story this is why I have a night routine okay so um, now that you're caught up and stuff let's get to the video all right guys so let's get started Nathan is right here he is not sleeping right now um, so he pretty much chills right here right next to me uh, I am right here next you know the gaming chairs right here and I'm right here um, either watching Hulu Netflix blah 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 playing video games or I'm, I'm talking to my friends online or I am you know raising awareness sending emails blah 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 whatever and he is right next to me so that's how I have it set up um, Nathan was in the couch before as you guys remember but now he's right here and he is really comfortable right here he um, I don't know I can tell that he likes this spot uh, a lot uh, but anyways so since he is here um, we get him ready over there in the living room before I bring him here so you guys pretty much missed the cleaning of his site the sanitizing of all the equipment and everything like that you you guys missed that um, Pam did that already for me and 
you know, we brought him in here and she went to bed. So sorry about that. But you guys already know basically what we do, how to clean the GJ tube and uh, how we sanitize everything. And um, we pretty much write everything down, blah, blah, blah. That's already taken care of right now. I do have to get his feed going. He doesn't have a feed uh, right now. So I guess I can show you guys that. OK, so let's get started. OK, first things first, uh, this here is the stand that the feeding comes with so if this if this is your first time maybe you're you know just getting into the whole feeding and you guys don't know how to do anything uh, maybe this will help you so we have this here I I put the bag here already and this right here is where um, his actual pump is gonna go it screws on right here um, and this is what tightens it to the pole right here and his feeding thing his pump is over here so what it looks like is this right here um, this is the pump and I'm gonna um, screw it on there so as you can see it has a little hole right there and all you do is you're gonna screw it like that you see that like that and then you spin this so let me put the camera down so I can do that screw it on So Nathan no longer has the old formula. He has already pre-made um, little bottles of, um, of milk, basically. Um, and I just poured it in here. So it's already made. Um, you just pour it in here, and then you're going to add water to it. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you have to put 125 ml of the milk, of the Cape Farms milk. So you're going to use 100 ml of water. See, it's already mixed together uh, I shook it a little bit and then now you're gonna pour it in this bag so I'm gonna do that right now nice all right so there it is that's what that looks like it's full of milk so now we got to prime it so you're like what does that mean okay so priming first off it comes with this this bag already comes with this little tip right here and I think they call it a tree or something I don't know Anyway, so you take that off. So you take it off, okay? This is trash, you don't need it. Um, once you take it off, you have to prime it, okay? And a lot of people don't know that, but people prime it with the pump and that takes forever. You don't wanna do that. So what I do is, excuse my chair. Uh, ah, so these buttons right here, you press them together like that. You see how the milk comes out? You press it, you press it, you press it, you press it. See how it's going down, and it's going down, it's going down. And it just keeps going down until it reaches the end. Okay? There it is. Coming up down, going up there, going all the way up here. See that? It's coming up. So, let me see. See how it's coming through there? And then when it reaches right there, boom. See that? It's about to, ah, I can't get it. All we're gonna do is put this tube in his tube, which is uh, clipped right now. So we're gonna do that right now. Lift this up. Here's his tubing um, right here. So all you do is it's clipped. What I mean by that is it's this clip right here. See how it's tight? It's pressing onto this. If it's not pressing onto this, all that water that's here will come out as soon as I pop this lid off pop this off and so that's exposed if this wasn't clipped all the water would come out of here so you gotta make sure that this is clipped so now all you do is you put the here that's why we got legs okay so you do this you do this and then you spin like this okay you see that now that it's see Concentrate. Uh, you guys get the. You guys get. Oh, there it is. So now that it's connected, you unclip this like that, and now you start to feed. You first you wrap it around this circle, and then all you do is stretch, and and it clicks in there. Then you turn it on. Wait, like one, two, three. 
five, six, there. Now, a couple seconds and then you just press um, play or run. That's it. Yeah, you're gonna eat now, Nathan. You're gonna eat right now. Isn't that cool? You're gonna eat right now. Oh, flow out. Okay, so this means that the milk is not coming through. Um, it could be clogged. So that's what that means. So we have to see. See, it says no flow out. So I mean, something's not right. You think that's funny, huh? You think that's funny? Nathan? <laughs> He's laughing at me. Okay, so um, I got it figured out. Uh, I think all it was is the the tubing on the water. Um, the hole, I needed to flush it. So I flushed it and that should be it. I have his suctioning machine here. Uh, this is a portable one. This is the one I use here. The other one, the stationary one, is in the living room and it stays there. That one's for for Pam and this one's mine so this is the one I use at night so this I put pretty much under here uh, under him and I can reach over and turn it on uh, whenever he starts coughing so I have it let me see so at night I'm either gaming like I said I play video games or I watch a movie or you know whatever whatever I can to stay up you know um, sometimes um, I read some books or whatever, and sometimes I, um, I'm on the phone with my friends, um, and, you know, whatever. I try to do whatever it takes to, to stay awake, so, anyways, so, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have it right there, so, that's where I have it, and I can reach over really easy and turn it on if he starts coughing. And I have this um, here, you guys can see it. This right here, I have it uh, tucked in, like right here next to him. Um, that way, just in case, you know, anything happens, um, it's it's available. So I leave it right there, tucked in. And um, if anything happens, it's right there. And kaboom, kaboom, and we clean him up. So. Nathan, Babaj. Nathan, Babaj, Daddy. He's Daddy. Don't want to talk right now. Okay, so that's that. Um, so let's get to the next part. Okay, so now with Nathan, if I need to change him or whatever, um, I move him from here and I put him here. So this is where I change him. This is his changing table. Uh, we don't use this pretty much. Uh, this was brand new. We got it and um, we never set it up till when we got this room back uh, after my friend moved out. Um, we set this up. Um, it was brand new when we got it, and obviously we were expecting him to come home, but he didn't, so we spent so much time in the hospital, and uh, he never really got to use it. This is brand new. Uh, we don't use it much, but only for a changing table now, so um, there's his wipes, his, his pampers, and that's where we change him. Okay, so when I'm done changing him, I put him back here again. All right, so I put my timer on for seven hours and four minutes once that is up uh, I will refill his bag with milk okay oh and I have this little owl here so I'll put some music on there you go put some music on for him so you can go to sleep and then um, so yeah he that's guys that's pretty much it I mean it's pretty boring uh, <laughs> I sit here and I don't do much I uh, you know, there's not much for me to do other than just chill here and watch Nathan and then I, you know, get on Facebook or whatever and I have a gaming channel that I started. Um, so this is my gaming channel and I'm just going to play this here. I'm not going to turn it up, but so you guys can have an idea. Um, so that's pretty much me. <laughs> that's me. And... Um, I game, so this is exactly what I do. I, I play this trucking game, or uh, I'm online, I, I watch uh, movies or whatever, while I take care of him. So that's pretty much how I made it work. Uh, my friend Hector, shout out to him, he pretty much set this whole thing up for me. Um, you know, I was playing games with him, I used to play video games with him to stay up, and he used to just call me, when this whole thing started, um, he used to call me and 
he used to be like, hey, uh, you know, want to play games so I can help you stay up? And then I was like, yeah. So we would play games on my PlayStation or whatever, or on on the PC. Would we we would uh, do this joint play thing? And um, then he was like, you know what? Why don't you stream? And I was like, I don't know. I've never done that before, man. And He's like, dude, like, like you, you can use it to, you know, not only uh, raise awareness, but, you know, gamers, you know, they get donations sometimes and just for playing games, so you should at least try it. And I was like, all right, since I'm up all night already, I just decided to give it a shot. So this is what I do. I um, I have everything set up. He, he helped me out so much. Honestly, shout out to Hector. He hooked me up with pretty much everything here. Um... He set everything up for me because I had no idea how to use any of it. I'm still learning. And so, yeah, that's what I do. So, um, during the night, uh, if he's okay, for example, if he's not having any issues or whatever, then I will go online. But if he's, you know, because sometimes he has the episodes where he's crying nonstop. He's, you know, holding his breath and he's vomiting and I just... I don't even bother with the video games. I just turned it off. I put on uh, a movie and I'm listening to the movie while I'm caring for him or whatever. And um, that's pretty much how it is. Yeah, last night actually he had a really, really rough night. Um, he was holding his breath. He was crying and, um, you know, he stops breathing for a second. I have to pump his chest. I get the oxygen and all that. That's a scary thing. Sometimes it's, it's bad. Sometimes it's not bad. So, you know. Um, but this is our life, guys. Um, you know, some might un not understand it, but, you know, it's not it's not supposed to be understandable because this is not a normal thing, you know? You're not supposed to understand it. It just, you know, this is not the norm, you know? But, however, we are, we are taking it, um, I am taking it as it is, you know? This is my son. I love him, you know? I hate that he's in pain. I hate that he has to go through all this, but... At the same time, you know, I heard a quote that says, uh, in tough times or when tough times happen or when life gets really hard, don't ask why me. Say, try me, you know, so try me. And so this is a trying time and I have full faith in God. I have a full faith that everything happens for a reason. And uh, every day we get some positive messages of, you know, how much Nathan has impacted or inspired other people. And I think that in itself is rewarding you know what i'm saying and that in itself lets me know that this is higher this has a bigger purpose than any of us could imagine we don't know why things happen we just have to embrace them and accept them and move forward with them because sitting there pouting you know there's a there's a quote by tupac shakur that says there's a puzzle you know there's puzzle pieces on the floor um you can either sit there and try to figure things out and try to figure out or you can just screw it and move on and move on with your day and that's what we're doing we're not trying to figure out this puzzle no more we're just trying to move forward with it you know what i'm saying accepting what it is and moving forward with it so anyways um i hope that you guys got some good information basically of how we do this right now at nighttime i suction him at nighttime i change his diaper uh i'm pretty much here all the time with nathan so i'm up during the night i don't wake up pam till like 5 a.m. ish or 6 a.m. ish um, and then we switch and then she takes over so this is basically what it is uh, we, we do this all the time uh, I've gotten used to it now uh, <laughs> it's crazy but you know it is what it is so anyways I thought I'd share, the, share this with you guys um, I don't think I have anything else to show you um we have a drum set there. Um, this was uh, for Noah, so you can start learning how to play the drums. And um, I used to play music a lot. Um, I used to be very involved with music growing up. And so um, music is kind of a part of our family. Um, you guys can see the old rusty guitar over there. It's not pick being picked up. These drums are just sitting here they don't really get played at all so um but sometimes i you know i want to get back into it and i want to get noah into it you know i just it's just time really but um time and procrastination if anything but yeah um that's there um that was in the garage 
for the longest time and finally we're able to set it up and hopefully we can get Noah on it. It'd be awesome to see him play music or whatever. Uh, so that's there. I have my closet there. I have all of Nathan's Pampers and all that stuff up there. I have my clothes here now. I moved all my clothes from Pam's closet and I put it here. That way there's more space for us. Um, let me see. I have uh, some pictures up there of us. Uh, Tom Brady in the back. <laughs> uh, that right, this right here was a gift from one of my friends. Um, he used to drink Jack Daniels all the time and he knows I love Jack Daniels so there's a big bottle of Jack Daniels in there. Um, this is a cool little reminder um, frame. And then this I got from a special somebody. Um, you know, always, always sending love. You guys are awesome. And uh, I have my PlayStation here with the uh, Elgato thing, whatever. So that way I can play through my computer. Um, we have a thing for the microphone. I've had this for a long time that I used to have when I used to do music and stuff. Um, then we have the GoPro. That's my cam. Uh, we have this light right here, which is super bright. Hector got it for me. I uh, shall shout out to Hector. Um, it turns on like this, and so that takes care of my lighting. Okay. Um, and then I have my window where I watch outside, make sure no one breaks in or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it was that it was informational. I hope that you guys were able to learn a little bit more. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. Welcome to our family. We embrace everybody. We want to get to know everybody. We're a family here. We try to keep it as transparent and as, you know, try to connect with as many people as possible. We're not celebrities. We're not like that. We're not aiming for fame. We're just simple, um, <laughs> simple people that um, were blessed by Nathan and blessed by Noah and we are blessed to be able to tell our story in hopes that it can inspire and motivate uh, people out there. Anyways, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. And as my family always says, remember, you are auspicious. We'll see you guys next time.